Next now, if we're, let's say if we're putting a compressor on a channel here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the channel. I'm on, I'm on selecting channel four. Go down to Dynamics 2, so we'll scroll down to that. We'll actually go over to where you'll, you'll see the, it'll be the on button, then to turn it on. Now that dynamic is turned on, so the gate, or the compressor is now turned on. What we have here is we have the threshold, that's, that's when it's going to kick in. Ratio, uh, right now it's 2.5 to 1. That means for every 2.5 decibels over the threshold, it's going to take it down one. The attack, that's how, how quickly the compressor is actually kicking in. Uh, release, that's when it'll, it'll release and it'll go back to the normal that's, go, that's going out. You can actually boost the gain if you want to, usually we don't. And the knee is actually how hard is the, the angle at which how hard and how fast it's actually kicking in. So usually you want to use a soft knee like that'll have a little bow to it coming up. Uh, a hard knee will just be a straight angle, it'll just go up and just a straight cut off. So usually most of the time we'll use kind of a soft knee instead of a hard knee for compressors. So but if, if you, like we said before, if you press the button, everything will pop up here off the, the dynamic button. Everything will pop up that you want. So you can, you can come in here and if you need to have the threshold up a little bit more, if the person just is talking and all of a sudden every now and then gets really loud, you're gonna wanna watch the signal so you're not getting too hot. You can actually compress that signal down a little bit then.